Hey guys, so I just wanted to post something and give you guys an update. So I haven't posted in about a week. I've been having a very hard week. It was a, a tough time for me. Um, in the last vlog, I told you guys that Aphrodite was sick and she wasn't doing very well and she ended up passing away at about one o'clock in the morning on Sunday, last Sunday. Um, I'm doing a little bit better now. I can keep it together and I can't think. I just have a hard time thinking and talking to the camera. Um, so my pets are like family to me. So I'm one of those people that it hits like losing a human. So this past week has been really hard. Um, I was feeling really depressed and drained, so I, I slept for a long time. Uh, I've been doing better, like I was able to get out yesterday and go out for my dad's birthday, and uh, I vlogged a little then, but I guess um, when I don't, when I try not to think about it, I'm okay, but um, it's, it's hard to talk about. So, yeah, um, my kitty's gone, and I like, I really, I was really dreading making this video. Um, I had her for 17 years. I got her when I was a teenager and she moved out to college with me. She moved back to Minnesota with me. She's just been such a huge part of my life. And um, I really, I loved her a lot. So what happened is for about the past month, she started having a runny nose, like her, her nose was draining a lot. And I, I took her to the vet and the vet told me that it looked like an upper respiratory infection, but given her history, there was a chance that she had a tumor that was putting pressure on her sinuses. And that's what was causing um, her nose to run. And so she said she'll give me antibiotics and hope that it gets better, but it might just be like putting a Band-Aid on. So we gave the antibiotics a try and um, her nose was getting better. It wasn't as runny. And then I, um, and then one day her eye started swelling up and her eye was looking really weird and her eye got really bad. And so I took her to the vet again and uh, the vet said that she thinks the two most likely causes are a tumor or an abscess tooth. I told you guys in that in the last vlog. And uh, she and her eye tested positive for glaucoma, so she gave me glaucoma drops for that. And um, she said keep an eye on it, see if her eye gets better in the next two to three days. Um, if not, bring her back. And so I was giving her the eye drops. And her eye actually did get better. It shrunk in size and it, it didn't look as swollen as it was. Um, but she started having seizures, like I told you in the last vlog that I posted. And so then that last Saturday night, she had a couple more seizures. And uh, then she was, I laid her up on my couch and she had that shallow breathing and she was just kind of like staring, you know, not really closing her eyes. And um, I've had a pet die before and so, you know, I, I it looked like she was dying. Um, I laid with her, I was, I was holding her and I wasn't sure if I should bring her to the vet but then I felt frozen and I had the thought that, you know, if she was going to die, that 
maybe I shouldn't add the extra stress of driving her to the vet. So I wanted to see what what happened and um, she ended up dying very quickly after that. So she died in my arms. Yeah, she had, she had, I think it was one more seizure and then she started throwing up a bunch of black stuff and then she just died. Sorry, I'm having a really, really hard time talking about this. I've been doing okay, but it's just like once I start talking about it. Um, so then I, I took her, her body to the vet the next day and the vet said that it was most likely a tumor then. She doesn't think it was an infection and the tumor caused a seizure. And then, you know, like anyone, you wonder like, was there something that I could do? You know, I, I had that thought. I was like, do I rush her to the emergency vet or do I see what happens? And I asked the vet, like if there was something they would have been able to do and they said, probably not. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe it was intuition too that I, that I had that thought too. I mean, I had a feeling that that it wasn't that she was going to die. Um, I was trying to be hopeful, but I think like deep down I knew. Um, but yeah, that's that's the hard thing about pets. Like you love them so much, and they just they can't live as long as as us. So I just I wanted to let you guys know. Um, a lot of you have been watching Aphrodite like the whole time that I've been on YouTube she's been in the videos she'd play the iPad she was a really great cat and I'm gonna I'm gonna miss her little kitty hugs how I'd pick her up and and she'd hold hold on to me and I don't know it's just it's really weird you know it's not the first pet death that I've been through but I'm just gonna I'm gonna really miss having her her around Rest in peace, Aphrodite. You know, it probably didn't feel good. She was on pain medication, but I mean, it was probably, it was just time. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try to get back to regular vlogs soon. Um, like I said, I, I have been, been doing better, but you know, like grief and emotions, they just, they really, really take it out of you. Like I, I don't, I can't remember feeling that exhausted, exhausted as I was earlier this week. Like my mom came up and helped me and then April came over and checked on me and oh, I just, yeah, I, I slept so much, but yeah. So there's the update guys, rest in peace Aphrodite and uh, thank you guys for listening.